It doesn't really look it because I've waited for the sun to go away, but it is hot and humid today and we're waiting on rain or a storm or a rainstorm or something to happen that will make it probably more humid actually now I think about it. Oh, that's disappointing. Anyway, cross stitch. <laughs> Here she is. I'll show you last week's because I remember to take a photo and we will then seamlessly segue into this week's. I just slightly tripped over, don't worry about it. Uh, so I'm filling in down here. Basically, I'm, I'm getting this bit done. Uh, I should finish the bodice. No. I will have to eventually. But that's how she's looking currently. And you can really see the folds of the... Oh, no you can't because that fell out. You can really see the folds. There we go. Coming out in the shading now, which is nice. Which I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying her a lot. Now, I do have something on the loom. So we'll go and have a look at that. That pattern's actually showing up better on camera than I thought it would. So I've got these floats, uh, which are the little raised bits. And I've got them just in the centre, so I've got, oh, over here, plain weave on the sides, and then these floats in the centre, which will show up, I think, better when it's wet finished, because the cotton will shrink a little bit. And that's just done with a pick-up stick. This is a single pick-up stick pattern, and it's every, oh, hang on, fourth row? Probably. I don't know. Counting is hard. So ordinarily, when you move your head all, the slot threads all sit up in the top line here, and you can do a, a row of plain weave. But if you've got your pickup stick, you can adjust which threads go up and which threads stay down so that you can get those float patterns. So that's how that's coming out. I don't know how long it's going to be. It's a, um, it's a cotton from Hobby Yarns. It's Hobby Yarns Twister Deluxe, I think. I threw out the wrapper. A rookie mistake, but that's going to fade through to a more orange, orange? A more orange, orange will be the result of the fading there. Anyway... <laughs> I'm clearly very good with words today. So that's what's on the loom at the moment. It's moving along at a fair click, so we should be ready to cut it off pretty soon. Now, excitingly, I got post this morning. My hair is just doing its own thing. Excitingly, I got post this morning, and what I got was, from Rick Rack Sews, a little robots kit, which I can make a little robot out of, and a Daryl and Russ kit, which I didn't bring the kit bit out because I've just got the pattern here, and the kit's inside. It's over there if you're looking for it. So these are going to be exceedingly cute. I will put a link in the description to Rick Rack Sews's, or Jody, Jody Carlton, <laughs> Rick Rack Sews's, uh, Etsy shop and her Instagram, because her Instagram is very cute. But these are going to be keeping me occupied, um, possibly to replace the cross stitch for a little while. I don't know, I don't know. It's my sort of my bedtime crafting time, my wind down from the day, you know, I, I watch, um, YouTube videos and do some crafting. So I might do uh, a little robot for a while instead of the cross stitch, or I might do Daryl and Russ for a while instead of the cross stitch. I haven't decided, I don't know. It's too warm today to think about handling felt, so that answers that question. I am gonna keep bitching about the heat, because I hate it. <laughs> it's completely irrelevant to everything on this channel, but I hate it. It's going to cool down after tomorrow, but for now I'm just I'm just a, a walking ball of misery. It's fine. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for listening to me rant about the heat. Did I mention it's really hot? It's not actually that hot. I think it's about 28, 29 degrees, but it's humid. Look, I'm going to shut up about the weather. No one cares. No one cares about the weather. Um, thanks. Thanks for, letting, thanks for letting me get that off my chest. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you next week. I keep saying this, but some people script their YouTube videos. Some people have like a script up next to the camera. Mwah. It's not for me. It's not for me. A gum nut just fell in my basket, so I'm going to count that as a goal. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. See you next week.